water to get it pull Whoa. feels like I'm shining with the glory of the sun floating suspended above the city where I'm from 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 vlog for a second like real real time vlog so this video is like not going where I planned it to go I had this idea it was an idea at the beginning of quarantine getting requests to vlog and stuff how can I vlog anything when this is how I exist this is how my friends see me this is how people I work with see me this is how my family sees me in this box if I were to vlog right now this is what I would look like so I had this idea to screen record as my video camera. Here we go. So, oh, let's see. Um, so this is just us hanging out on Discord. Half the time I'm screen recording, I couldn't figure out how to record the audio. So you can't hear anything besides me clicking. See, I vlog often, but not all of it always get seen. Oh, and then I was working on Winners stuff. Winners is, we're not really strangers. Oh, okay. So this yeah, is just a glimpse into like sort of what a day of work looks like for me. I recorded a lot and it's just, it's so hard to go through all this and make it something like interesting to watch. I'm not gonna even try. I cannot swindle you guys with like fluffy vlog content. Probably much like you. My feelings have just been blurry. I don't understand them as much as I used to and that's okay. So the idea of the video was supposed to be like this direct POV of my life. I was just going through Groundhog's Day where I was like waking up, obviously walking the dog every day, making myself food, and then like just hopping on my computer. It's a novel idea but the problem is I don't even like being online on the screen enough as it is as we're all kind of forced to exist via the screen to have to relive it and watch boring footage. I just couldn't fathom being tormented by that again. Truly sat on this video at this point for five months. I recorded other stuff, but I was just like, I can't do anything else until I get this video out so everyone knows the state of mind I'm in. And then I had to remind myself like, I really go between wanting to have like top tier video edits and like part of being really ugly and raw. I'm just gonna go on a tangent here cause I'm frustrated with this video. I'm frustrated where I'm at right now and I'm just, I'm frustrated. I had this realization as I've hit like a blocking point with this video. I've actually done this quite often where I work on a video and I'm like, this is just not how I'm seeing it in my head. I cannot execute the idea. And more often than not, uh, the video just goes onto a hard drive and like disappears into the ether. Living its own life somewhere. <laughs> I actually work on a lot more videos than it seems. I just don't post it. 
because I'm like, oh my God, I this isn't right to me. And then I realized we only see the end results of people's creative process. So rarely do we see the scrapped projects. At this point, we're so intellectually aware, um, putting boundaries up when we see a face that makes us feel bad or a lifestyle that makes us feel bad. I could be projecting here because that's <laughs> where I'm at. But what I, I guess I didn't realize is I'm only seeing end results. While I try to be raw, I'm not being raw with myself, not being real to myself about my own creative process. If this was a real life moment, this is what this video could have been is one of these crumpled up piece of paper thrown away. This video, like many, probably wouldn't have seen the light of day. But what I would give to see the crumpled up papers of people that I very much admire. Then I had another realization. I don't want to gatekeep a creative process. Um, for a while, I was kind of bitter. And then I had another conversation with a wardian that helped me get out of this thought. She said ideas carry energy. And I never thought of it like that. I'm going to try to be more... Um, vulnerable with my creative process too. If I can't figure out how to execute something, I hope someone else can. I think I just want to share my efforts as also a reminder to myself, you, others. Your ideas are worth sharing. Your ideas are worth someone else experiencing as well. You cannot Hello, Rachel here in present time. As I'm editing this forsaken video that I'm just so tired of editing, and now that I'm out of this headspace a little bit, I don't think that my message is meant to be just for creative people. There's a process to our thinking, and sometimes we're not really vulnerable in sharing how or where we're at, where we are emotionally. No one's getting an in on what we're experiencing, so it makes the world a little bit harder to interact with us when we're not being able to be open and vulnerable about things. Those are my quick thoughts as I'm editing this video. I still hope this makes sense. Continue, continue. There's not much left. You cannot evolve if you cannot put yourself out there first. When I say put yourself out there, I don't mean in a very social media way. I mean even to your friends, your family, your small group, because those are the people who see you and see your potential and can help you grow so that you don't feel alone. We do that a lot because we haven't normalized sharing the process yet. If we didn't share stories, we wouldn't have progress in our, in our culture, in our communities. Your perspective is so, so uniquely you. I don't care if you think that you are the most boring, mundane person in the middle of a small town. So many people would love to see that, especially if you make things that just feel like you that just feel like a story that needs to be shared because you don't know who else is experiencing a very parallel life from yours who just needed to feel seen. I'm online for you forever. I'm online for you forever.